doing the frame with the lights I picked up these two picture frames from Dollar Tree these are size 4 by 6 you can choose any size that you want you will also need these kind of lights these come 20 lights to a pack this is also from Dollar Tree and you also need a screwdriver and tape I printed out these two images from Google and I trimmed them down to the size so that they could fit the frame I peeled off the plastic wrap to the frame and started removing the backing the scissors helped me lift up the back metal pieces that were kind of tight. So you're going to remove the back piece and also the stuff that comes in it, including the glass. And you're going to need to put the picture that you chose into the frame along with the back piece. Here I'm showing you both images that I printed from Google and put it onto the frame. Screwdriver, I also got mine from Dollar Tree and you're going to decide where you want to poke the holes through your frame. This was fairly easy because the backing from Dollar Tree is really thin. So this was really easy to do. If you don't like skulls, you can also use like a cat or a quote that says Happy Halloween or Trick or Treat and put lighting around that. I decided to poke holes around most of the skull's eyes because that's where I'm going to be putting my lighting. I have tried this project on a regular picture frame, but that picture frame backing was a lot thicker so it didn't work, but it worked perfect with this Dollar Tree picture frame. Once you finish poking all of the holes, you can take out your lights. And the lights will need to be plugged in until you're all done. The holes were the perfect size with the screwdriver for the lights to squeeze through and hold on pretty snug. The stand to the back of my picture frame was in the way of the holes, so I just removed it really easily. and. I finished filling in all the lights and had a few left over for my other picture frame. So here's my next picture frame. The mistake that I did here was that the image that I chose, the eyes were way too close together so I ended up not using it. But what you have to do is tape off the last piece of the last lighting from your last picture frame and then you can add it on to the new picture frame. This is what the end result looks like. I really love how it looks. It looks so creepy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now we're gonna start the next picture frame. So I took the biggest frame that I have. This is a size 11 by 14, also from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need to remove the back just so that you can take out the glass and anything else that was inside it and put the back back on. So I have this skull and the skull had such a huge head I had to cut off the back. I used my exacto knife from Dollar Tree and then my scissors to make a circle. So I just used my hot glue gun and went all around the back of the skull head onto the cardboard from the picture frame and just put a massive amount so that it stayed securely. Once I confirmed that he was completely secure, I used this creepy cloth from Dollar Tree. Mine is in the color gray. I just put one layer on the back and then tucked all of it back to the front. And then I put the frame back on and tightened it back up with the metal pieces. Now the remainder of the creep cloth, I just played around with it until I formed a shape that I like. I wanted to give him some kind of hood. So that's the shape that I ended up forming here and the rest of it I just smoothed it out and then I used my hot glue gun to secure everything. This was very easy to do and I love how this adds dimension to my wall. It looks like I have a skull just popping out of my picture frame. I love the 3D effect and you don't see it here because I ended up adding it to the end but I did add a little spider on the side. I was still able to access the back piece where I could hang it, even through the creep cloth. So here is my next picture frame. I ended up using the picture frame that did not work for me with the lights that I had at the beginning. So I took a little bit of this spider webbing from Dollar Tree. The frame is also from Dollar Tree. I just took a little piece and started pulling it. The trick is just pull little pieces at a time and you want everything to look stretched. You don't want anything to look bunched up because then it doesn't really look like a web. These spiders, I had it from last year around Halloween time. They also have spiders at Dollar Tree. I got mine from Family Dollar and I just hot glued them to the frame. It was that easy and 
I loved how it turned out. So I ended up taking a project that didn't work out well for me and just putting this together last minute. And here it is hung up on my wall. Now here's the last DIY picture frame. This skull I hauled from Dollar Tree. I love how his eyes light up. I love how he's glittery and I definitely wanted to give him a bigger showpiece. So this frame is also from Dollar Tree. You're also going to take off everything except the backing. And I picked this floral pattern from Hobby Lobby. You don't have to use a pattern in the back if you don't want to. It could be white or black. Anything that you want. I just trimmed down the scrap of paper to the size to fit the frame. And I used these black roses from Dollar Tree. Hot glued everything onto the frame. And I forgot to add hot glue gun to the paper onto the frame. So make sure that you guys do that first. I'm just doing it last because I had forgotten to do it earlier. And I also took some of that remaining spider webbing that I had just to give it a little extra touch and make it a little more spookier. And also this bat came from the bouquet of black roses and I have all three of them here together. I love how it looks. I'm not going to keep it like this but I will be sharing my Halloween home tour really soon. I'm almost done putting everything together. I hope that you guys enjoy these DIYs. Let me know which of the four frames you guys like the best. My planner giveaway just ended. I will be announcing the winner in my next video. I'll make sure to link my entire DIY playlist for Halloween. Please make sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>